I grew up in Montrose. Um, I went to Montrose Area High School. I was an Eagle Scout with Troop 92 right here in town. Right after high school, I decided I was gonna go to, to college for landscape architecture. Um, so I attended a school in Syracuse called SUNY ESF. That's the College of Environmental Science and Forestry. I went there for a year and I quickly realized how expensive college was. So I started looking into the National Guard. I come from a military family. My father was a TAC officer, so he was a kind of a drill sergeant for officers. So I grew up with that. It definitely prepares a person for different situations. It teaches people how to work. It, it instills a discipline, you know, be here at eight. Well, that means in the military, that means you're gonna be there at 7.45 or you're late, <laughs> you know? Uh, so there's, there's a sense of, of responsibility. There's a sense of leadership that I don't think you get anywhere else. You know, when I was a company commander, I had 133 people underneath me. My partner, Brittany, and I recently had a, a son. His name is Beckham. So that's been awesome to watch him grow and, and learn new things. So really excited about the future. Both of our parents live in the area, so grandparents get to spend a lot of time with him. So that's, that's been really nice. I really like to play golf. I'm in a league here at Montrose on Wednesday evenings. Um, so I try to, during the summer, I leave work a little bit early on Wednesdays and go over there and, and play golf. So that's, that's my kind of away time from work. I was looking for something that paired with landscape architecture. Uh, and I found what's called a geospatial engineer. And that's just a fancy word for GIS technician. I took a year off from college. I went to Fort Belvoir, Virginia for six to eight months at the National Geospatial Intelligence College. Uh, that's where I, I picked up the GIS skill set. GIS, uh, Geographic Information Systems. For example, we've been working on uh, some solar site analysis at JHA. What GIS brings to the table is I can compile all of the information in one map, things such as slope, nearest landowner, say they require a 200 foot buffer around a wetland, I can create that buffer and maybe there's an offset for a property line. I can offset that property line and I can start to see this is where we could put a 200 acre solar site. That's the power of it. People leave companies because of, of management generally and, and that's why I've stayed here. You get that sense that the management and the, the people really do care about you and they wanna see you succeed. So I truly do believe that they, they wanna you know, they want to hire good people and they want to keep them and they want to see them succeed. So that's, that's why I like working here.